Hello, everybody. My name is Reverend Steve. I'm the founder of the Church of Ed Wood and one half of the podcast, The Pope on Film, is what I'm going to say because it's easier. Actually, there's Bunny, Genie. Genie, Bunny and Genie's dog. There's me, there's my wife, there's Bella, there's Maxwell, there's Eleanor. Uh, Emerald and Amber don't appear a lot, so I'm just going to include the both of them as one. So they're each 50% of the show. And then uh, uh, Deanna and Destiny. Did I say Eleanor? Yes. Yeah, okay. So that's 11 people, so I'm really on 1 11th. Of the podcast, The Pope on Film, but that's beside the point. Anyway, this is a special edition of The Pope on Film. We're not doing an episode this week for a number of reasons. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm recording this right now through my cam on my laptop, and I was wondering why it said yam on the top of my computer here. No, it's just May backwards. I'm an idiot. So, we're not doing an episode this week, but I, I am hard at work at our next episode, which I'm very excited about. I got the notes right here. Let me give you a bit of a preview as to what our next episode is going to be about. It's going to be about some legal mumbo-jumbo. Bell, I recorded, I, I added more uh, side effects to the Pope on film that I'm really excited about. You know, you know, I do those, I sometimes do those fake pill, yeah, you see all this maddening scribble right here? Yeah. So, we're going to be talking about a specific type of spider, very excited about that. We're going to be talking a little bit about Marvel Infinity Wars, primarily though, we're going to be talking about a new Marvel spinoff I have, that, an idea for it that I'm very excited about. I have a story uh, from the bookstore days from the, a long time ago. We're going to be talking a little bit about my garlic bologna addiction. For homework, the movie we're watching is Equinox, a movie that is either really stupid or the best movie ever. I have a really good Steve's historical approximations, and the movie next week, the movie that we're doing for the next episode of the podcast... It is a bizarre art, supernatural, drama, experimental film called A Ghost Story. And from what I can tell from the reviews, I haven't watched it yet for the show, but as far as I can tell for, from the reviews, it's either one of the greatest or one of the worst movies you've ever seen. So, it, Joaquin Phoenix is in it, I believe, so. And, like, a, a, a non-edited, like, six-minute scene of a woman eating a pie. It's a really bizarre movie, but that's, that's, that's for our next episode. And then, uh, calm down, Pope on Film fans, poffies. Calm down, because uh, it, next week we will be discussing the bizarre experimental art supernatural drama from 2017 entitled A Ghost Story. Maxwell, if you could not do fart noises while I'm recording this special edition of the Pope on Film, I'd appreciate it. So that's what we're doing for the next episode. The episode after that, we will be doing uh, the big film that everyone's talking about, Avengers Infinity War. I believe is what it says here. Oh, no, wait. Avengers Infinity War. I, I pronounced that wrong. So be prepared for that. We will be doing... We will be doing Avengers Infinity War. And how depressing it is. So I am recording this on May the 4th. I am wearing a Millennium Falcon shirt. My son, Maxwell, is wearing a Star Wars shirt. I've actually been thinking a lot about what I'm going to be doing over this summer because I'll be at home and everyone else will be at home and I don't want to snap and kill everyone. So one of the things I'm going to be doing is every Tuesday 
Maxwell will be going to school every Tuesday during the summer. I will be sitting him down and forcing him to watch a different film. So that's very exciting. He hasn't watched any of the Star Wars as I've tried a bajillion times, but I think this structure will help me. He'll be back later. He'll be back later? Okay. Cool. We're taking Bella and Ross picking him up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So it's May the fourth. My wife Natasha graduated today from college with an associate's degree in Pisachology. Oh, I'm sorry. Psychology. That's how it's pronounced. Very proud of her. I was actually tearing up on the way home because I'm just so proud of her. She's worked so hard. And also, you know who else I'm proud of? Me. I've been making a lot of dinners lately. You know? Shout out to me. I've been working hard. So my wife got very excited that it was May the 4th and it was her graduation day. So she just decided a long time ago, I am going to be dressed as Princess Leia. And she told everybody in class and her teachers and her fellow classmates and everyone kind of laughed at her, you know. Everyone's like, yeah, okay, right, wink, wink. But no, she absolutely did. She's been wearing this white skin tight outfit all day. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited about that. And it's funny because she's wearing a wig. She's wearing a, a Princess Leia wig, right? And so, yeah. Because I, I love you. And so she's wearing this Princess Leia wig, and I knew she was going to look different. And then the procession started for the graduation. Do, 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 do. And so we're all, like, looking, like, where's Mommy? Where's Mommy? Where's Natasha? She's got to be here somewhere. Keep your eye out. Keep your eye out. I did not see her at all until she was literally, like, right in front of me. And I was blown away by that. Yeah, yeah, couldn't see it all. Could not see you at all. It was the hair. It was the hair. Because in my mind, I just can't deal with the idea of... Uh, keep an eye out for Natasha. She has brown hair and in buns. Like, like that's just not... Visit. I'm recording video, and then I'm going to be turning it into audio, so people won't be seeing this. All of the visuals, no one will see. Bunny will see? No. Nobody will see. So, I, I'm just recording this audio, is all. This is a special edition of the show. Anything you want to talk about for the special edition? Um, no. Not that I can think of. No? Um, I graduated. And we're all so fucking proud of you, honey. We're so fucking proud of you. And then tomorrow is our anniversary. So it was that sort of like double trouble that, that caused us to push the show back a week. How, what's our, is this 14? 15. No. 15 married, 13, I mean, uh, 15 together, 13 married. Okay, 13 years together and 15 years. No, 15 Thir uh, together. Jesus, Jesus Christ. 13, 13, 15. 13 married, 15 together. Yes. There you That's go. That's a good way to say it. Ding, ding, ding. I want them married first. Why? Because that's the important part. No, it's not. The important Dang. part is that we're together. We're broken up. Oh, yeah. Okay, so 15 years together, 13 years married. Yeah. Yeah, that, I guess that sounds better. It sounds more professional. More, more, it sounds longer. Because it is. Because we've been together for 15 years. Okay, now you're married a full 13 of them. Yeah. So next, so tomorrow we're celebrating our anniversary. We're going out clubbing. And by clubbing, there's uh, just a lot of baby seals here in <laughs> Shawnee, and they just need to be destroyed. So we're going clubbing. Then uh, we're probably gonna have a few drinks or nine, and then we're gonna go to the movies to see the big movie that's out, God's Not Dead Five. Three. No, God's Not Dead 5, God's Not Dead Ear. No, God's Not Dead 5, Tokyo Drift. Okay. The Fate of the God. Steve wants to see God's Not Dead, whatever. Three. Still... And he, he can. He's welcome to see it. I will be watching 
Infinity Wars. Avengers Ein Fein ID War. Originally, the title was a lot longer. Originally, it was Avengers Infinity War. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. That was a, the original title of the movie. I took off my nails. I know. I, know, I have hand. them all in my hand. Yeah. You gave them to me here on the special edition of the podcast. So I'm excited. Uh, this has been an exciting week for us. That's, that's good. Oh, I am exhausted. My wife. It's been a very, very special, special edition of the podcast. It's super special. So much is happening right now on the podcast. Um, the, the baby is definitely going to occupy Steve's time. She needs a bath. And as everyone knows, I'm the only one that can bathe her. I bathed her the other day. Unprompted. I have to prompt you. Uh, the last bath I gave her was unprompted. One out of how many? If um, anything, it was prompted by the fact that someone gave her lasagna. And then she exploded. Um, yeah, she's playing in the dirt. She loves playing in the dirt. She's covered in dirt. Just like Max. You look amazing! Damn. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for that to come out the way that it sounded. Thanks. You look amazing. You look amazing. I know. In your outfit. Wow. She wanted to dress as Princess Leia. I tried to get her to dress as Jar Jar. But she wasn't having any of that. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. So. No, uh. So, I was definitely not gonna dress as Jar Jar. You could have dressed as Anakin. I had this outfit. Hit him in the nose! You gotta do something about that, because if she touches me, I'm wearing all white and I'll fuck, I'll fuck somebody up. Okay. Now that's pod racing. I I have eaten hot wings. I have drank red wine and coffee while in this outfit. Yeah, that's a that's an impressive amount of whiteness. And I for have that not. The worst this that has happened is walking through all the fucking mud. Mud and everything. Yeah. And even from my all the shoes rains. are still pretty fucking white. Like there's hardly any. Yeah. I got white Converse specifically for this white high top converse because I was not about to wear heels or try to find a pair of boots that fit my calves. Yeah. It wasn't going to work. Oh god. Your outfit is so white your dress is about to become a Republican. Oh. <laughs> two different places. Yeah, two different places. Well, my that's... dress is about as white as I'm wearing. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost body. You're just a head floating. <laughs> I'm just floating. a head with some arms. Yeah. Well, that's the end of this special edition of the podcast. It's been super informative. So many exciting things have happened. Usually I plan some things during the special editions, or I try and make them different. Like the one where Emerald was playing in the background, that was an amazing episode. This episode, nothing. I had nothing planned. You look great. Damn right I do. Damn right you do. Mm. Unashamed. Unashamed. Especially after everybody was like, oh my god, you look so awesome. Yeah. We were driving home and some, and we were at a, like a red light, and... The dude that was running a fucking snow cone shop screamed. I had my music up really loud. Like, so leaned like, out of the window of the snow cone shop and is yelling. Screaming at me to get my attention because I'm dressed as Princess Leia to tell me how cool he thought it was. Yeah. The guy at the liquor store had to have my picture. I got hugged by some random dude at school, another graduate, because he thought it was awesome. I got pictures. Everybody's like, can I have a picture with you? I a picture with you. I feel like I was the all of Comic-Con at my graduation. This is what people at Comic-Con go through, but like times a million. It really upset us that, you know, there's the roped off part of the floor where all of the graduates sit, but they didn't sit in all of the seats at the last row. So a family of four with a young child sat 
in that are you empty kidding? row, and I was so fucking pissed off. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why are it's you okay. sitting there? Is that baby uh, graduating with an associate's degree and shitting itself? Apparently, uh, <laughs> when we got so down our off. row, Ariel didn't go down far enough, so... <sighs> There was a, excuse me, there was an empty seat next to Ariel. So it was an empty seat, Ariel, um, Marissa, me, and Allison. <clears throat> That'll fuck everything up at the graduation. But it didn't, because you Good. stand up and you get in line. Like, there's okay. no alphabetical. This isn't yeah. preschool. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's college. And, fuck, they fucked up the, because um, Marissa, she put in her, she put in her, her, did everything she was supposed to, the survey and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Her name wasn't in the pamphlet because they didn't have it. They, somebody fucked up. They didn't have her name printed on the card. They had to handwrite it in. They didn't have her name in the pamphlet. Huh. Like, Damn. all that work and just to have your name not even acknowledged. Yeah, that's... Even in the fucking pamphlet thingy. Yeah, that's fucked up. The, the program, yeah. It is fucked up. And so she was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make them reprint me some. Good. She should. She should. She's going to ECU. Her and Ariel both going to ECU too. So she's going to sit in her schedule, and we're going to. I'm going to see if I can get like a class or two with her. So. My wife is now going for her bachelor's, bachelor's. degree. She's going to ECU Extreme Championship uh, University. A lot of classes right with you know barbed wire and thumbtacks and steel chairs. That's ECU. Extreme Championship University. Welcome well, to Extreme Championship University. I'm I'm your professor, Tommy Dreamer. Let me drink this beer, and then I'm gonna punch a bitch in the tits. Okay. I'm so tired. We've had a long day, and then we had a crazy long night. With Allison, we were lining up, and I was standing there, and I was, man, fucking tired. And Allison was like, hey, fucking Allison was like, yeah, man, it was nine o'clock, and we just got done with the makeup. We we're like, we gotta go. And I was like, I was, I was running over here three minutes to ten to check in and like get my card, and then I went back and got dressed, and then came back. Uh, but like, I'm fucking tired, man, because Thursday night, seven nights, I get drunk. Yeah. Like, I get drunk on Thursdays. <coughs> I watch my show. I get yeah, drunk. it's supernatural. And, and Gash was like, man, me too. And then Marissa was like, I've been up since 4.30 in the morning. And I was like, you're fucking nuts. <laughs> I did my makeup and I got dressed. And I was all back and looking to sleep. And then I went over and did Ariel's makeup. And yeah. I was like, God damn Thursdays are the nights that we stay up drinking and watch our shows. Not only supernatural, but man, how is the Green Arrow going to defeat Diaz? Oh, my God. No. <laughs> But Diaz, honey, Diaz. I'm gonna no, no. I can't believe that. Uh, I hate that show so much. But what about Diaz? Some bullshit. Green Arrow. Did I say Green Arrow or Green Lantern? Uh, it doesn't fucking matter. You said Arrow. Okay, good. Uh, the Green Arrow plays right after Supernatural, and we don't watch it. We just watch whatever's on after Supernatural. We don't have a remote, <laughs> and so we just we just watch what comes at us. For a while, it was Riverdale. That show was fucking ridiculous, but they moved it, so now we don't watch Riverdale. So now we watch Arrow, and oh my god, it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, the bad guy is named Diaz, You and... Uh, don't play the drinking Don't game. Don't play a drinking game. Where every time you hear Diaz, you take a shot because you'll be dead you in will the first be dead. 10 minutes. You will be dead. Diaz, shot, Diaz, shot, Diaz, shot. Oh my God, somebody get me into the emergency yeah. room. Once you, I'm about to die. Once you realize this, what are you doing? Arrow is the funniest show in the world. Okay, don't go on the road, Ellie. Don't go on the road. So if you yeah. don't know Max. Arrow, you should definitely watch Arrow with this bit of nugget because Arrow will oh be the God. funniest yeah, show. No. Say Arrow will be the funniest show you'll ever fucking. Yeah, just I want to go back and I want to like I want to count how many times they say Diaz. We gotta figure out a way to stop Diaz, but if I don't think we can stop Diaz, how can we stop Diaz? Maybe there. we should set a trap for Diaz. Then Diaz will be in our trap. Diaz. 
Okay, no, like the worst fucking thing that could have happened last night was the fact that that bitch, she, she screamed at him and threw him up against something. And then instead of just using the gun she had in her hand to shoot him in the head and kill him, she was about to scream and kill him with her, like, supersonic scream thing. This is... Instead of the gun! Instead of the gun! This is not a logical show. Well, just like last night on Supernatural, we were complaining about how logic has to be cast aside, and even though we know the characters are smarter than that, those decisions, those poorly made decisions that aren't very well thought out have to be made in order to forward the story. Yeah. And it's it just <coughs> so frustrating because after 12, 13 years of this show, you know that these characters are smarter than to, like, leave this person there with this tiny-ass witch. You know, you're going to leave an archangel with a tiny witch? Itty-bitty, itty-bitty witch? Yeah, that's that was fucking stupid. You know? I need to go back and watch the episode that The Miz was in. I never saw that episode. Oh, yeah, that's the one, that, uh, the wrestling episode? Yeah, I never saw that episode. Yeah, it was a good episode. How did I miss that episode? It had the guy from, um... Because we've been watching so much from, Supernatural. Uh, from iZombie in it, too. Which one? one the major the... or the no, no, cop? No. The, the black um, cop guy? or One of the zombie, like, grunts. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, kn- I think the, I know the, who you're the, talking the about. The major zombie grunt, the bigger one, Yeah. you know? Like, he played, uh, he played the, the, the bad guy. He was the bad guy in the episode. Cool. Um, he, he was, I can't remember his name, but, like, we gotta watch that episode. We can watch it together, and you can see, I'm not even gonna tell you. Don't tell me anything about it. But you can see, and I want you to point out any super gay uh, moments <laughs> that you might notice. Gotcha. So we're having an exciting week here at the Galindo household. So, congratulations to my wife, Natasha, Woo! who now has an associate's degree in psychology. Congratulations to Natasha and I, who have been together for a long time. Hell yeah. Too long. We need a divorce. Yeah. Congratulations to, to everybody. You give a round of applause to yourself, because you're amazing. You're, you're an awesome person. Don't, don't, don't let anybody bring you down. I don't care what Trump said about you on Twitter. You're a good person. Remember that. Uh, we will see you next week, you godless heathens.